Good evening, everyone. Welcome, be all of you, to the first PM session. And we have here, just by chance, the speaker of this first PM section. Who we, who else do we have, Joseph? Good afternoon, everyone. So we are, we have here John uh, Peniel Nanales from the College of Education. So, uh, JP, what is your reaction about this afternoon's topic? Well, it's very provoking, given the fact that it's uh, tackling about the modern culture. And he's giving a very conservative approach on how we should tackle our identity, and it's based from the Christian living. So it's going to be a provoking message for those who are modern thinkers, and especially for the millennial. Yes. So and we have here as well as Vergara, the speaker of the first PM section for this week of prayer. And I am personally telling you that this topic that we heard in this morning and then in the evening as well is really, really, uh, really, really interesting. So, hi, good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you for asking. This was a really, really good message. And that's why I would like to ask you if you can please tell us about the preparation. How did you do? How was the, this preparation, the process for this day? Okay, so for, for all of us, Week of Prayer speakers, we were informed ahead for about two months or one month, I think. And then, uh, as far as I can remember, we were given the topic and then we were asked to find advisors to basically develop the script and the uh, content of our message. And then, personally, what I did to prepare was I did a lot of research, a lot of uh, Bible reading, a lot of prayer, and uh, devotion. And uh, it really, it's not me who prepared this sermon, but the Holy Spirit in me who prepared this and so yeah thank you so much that's really really true when we want to prepare something we look for help from the from heaven right spiritual help now what do you want to ask to the our student so for the next question JP what is the relevant of the topic for you as a business student well um, being a business student it really requires you to know your identity because it will be your ethical compass it will be your navigation your principle and how you decide which which is right or wrong and given the fact that he have gave a really good ceremony it gives you a clear and precise core on how would you decide and what basis will you be using in order for you to know what is right or wrong Thank you, JB, that it is really important for us to have the ethical compass, whether we really need to know whether what is right and wrong as a part of our identity. In classmate Joseph, talking about identity, this topic is maintaining our identity in Christ, right? And that's why I would like to ask you what problem, specific problem, do you think this topic that you just preached a while ago help the students? What pro uh, topic? Uh, what problem are you uh, tackling here? The problem. What do you mean by problem? The pro problem that this problem. topic helps to solve. Okay. First of all, if you don't know your identity, you would not know where you will head. Okay. Oh, uh, identity is crucial in order to know your destiny. So, without knowing your identity, you would be lost. You would be, you know, you will know. You wouldn't know where you will be going. Thank you so much. That's true. If you don't know where you are coming from, how can you know where you are going, right? Your destination. Thank you so much for such beautiful words. So for the last question, JP, how will you apply this message uh, as a student or as a future business student someday? And what is your message to those students who are still struggling uh, finding their own identity? Well, I do agree with some students because I do. I also suffer existential crisis and the identity on how would I navigate my life. But um, basically, the message that I have received today is very conservative, and it really helps you to know what are the stable and what are the things that you need to consider in how will you get along with others, and also being like crushing your ego and not being able to just highlight yourself above others, right? So it gives you a transcendent, a transcendent sense of self. Yeah. Thank you, JP. And for this, to end this short interview, I'd like to ask you, because I know that all students were blessed with today's message. I know that all students are going to the, to the dorms, to the houses, with a, with a heartful message in their minds. That's why I'd like to ask you, what 
action do you expect students to take or what um, outcome do you, do you want students to do after listening to your message? Um, I'm expecting that uh, they will be more influenced to study their Bible, to read their Bible and to pray. Yeah. Okay, prayer and reading the Bible, such two important factors in a spiritual life. So my name is Wilson Chiquito. And my name is Giselle Carvalho. And this reporting from the PIC Week of Prayer, first PM section. See you later. Thank you so much, all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.